picking up where I left off in activity 2.03. Uh, this is a continuation. So I had uh, destroyed or deleted the connection between the two tables. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate those, the relationship. I'm going to go to database tools and I'm going to go to relationships. Now this is going to fail. Notice that instructors and schedules are both open and I'm going to try and drop the relationship. And it says instructors, instructor ID, schedule, instructor ID, that's the relation, enforce, create. The database engine could not lock table 2A schedule because it is already in use by another person or process. Okay, so I'll cancel here. So opening these to look at them was interesting, but to try and create the re relationships, we have to make sure that those objects are closed. Okay, now I just double clicked uh, in the earlier lesson to get these tables to show up here. I'm going to close relationships and now there's, when I open up relationships, you see these tables again. I can select a table and hide it and I can go back to plus and say show and notice that instructors is there, schedule is there for me to choose from, but the only thing I'm showing is schedule. I'm going to pick schedule and hide it. So this is like a work surface. And when I go to show table again, I see both of these. I can pull them out and work with just the tables that I need. Now notice their size and now they're reversed in order. So I know that I have one instructor for many classes. So stretch this out, stretch this out, reposition this, and I can make the connection from instructor ID from the many side of the one-to-many relationship and drag that over to the one side of the one-to-many relationship. And it still draws it appropriately. Notice the many side is over here, the one side is over here, I can move this around, slide this over here, and it redraws it for me properly. Now you may wonder, well, what's the big deal about hide and show table since there's only two tables? But as you work with databases, you'll get into situations where you have many tables. And when you open up the relationships window, it's cluttered with so many objects that you can't see what you're doing. And so hiding tables is a great way to um, make it easier for you to work with these tables. Now for one last thing, let's, uh, let's look at the edit relationships and let's talk more about referential integrity. So by pointing at and clicking on this relationship line, you see it went bold. And if I double click on it, I get the edit relationships dialog. So what is this enforced referential integrity? Well, well remember, that the one-to-many relationship means that we have one instructor and that one instructor can teach many courses. So, and we've related the table via the instructor ID. Well, let's say that this instructor has 10 sections or 10 classes, okay? And then let's say that for whatever reason, this instructor has to leave uh, maybe he got a new job or maybe she ended up in the hospital and has decided to terminate or separate from the university and no longer work there. Well, the processing, you know, in the back end will happen at HR and, and this instructor will no longer work for the college. Okay, so at some point they're gonna, somebody's going to come along and they're going to delete this instructor's record from the database. And when they go to do that, referential integrity was checked. Let me show you that again. It's checked right here, enforce referential integrity. And so when somebody comes to this application and tries to delete that instructor, it's going to stop them from doing so because we've checked referential integrity. And, and it's going to stop them because when you try to delete the single instructor record here, 
this the access database system is going to know that there's many course courses in the schedule side that relate back to this instructor so before we can delete this instructor somebody has to go in and update all of these courses uh, perhaps they'll change it to staff or perhaps they'll change it to a new instructor that can actually pick up those courses and so the instructor ID will get updated by somebody working on this application to reflect the fact that it's related to an existing instructor and once all relationships um, have been changed in schedule and no longer relate back to the instructor who uh, got a new job and left or is in the hospital and isn't coming back uh, and their records going to be deleted from the instructors table it's at that time it's going to work and that's what referential integrity is all about it's a way to make sure that you don't uh, corrupt the integrity of the data by coming to the one side of a connection or a relationship and deleting a key piece of information that if it was allowed then these would become orphan records they'd have an instructor ID in each of these courses in each of these course records that did not relate back to any instructor in the instructors table